For this video, what I want to do is show you how to find a probability involving combinations. So the situation we have here is in a state lottery, a person picks six numbers from 1 to 43. Second prize is awarded if five of the six numbers match. And we're going to find the probability of winning second prize. Okay, so with this, remember that the probability is the total number of matching five of six over the total number of combinations of 43 taken six at a time. So for this, we are going to use combinations, and I'm just going to use the combinations button in a calculator. If you have any type of scientific calculator, you can find combinations in there. Okay, so in order to do this, what we have to think about is what do we want to happen on the top? So the total number of matching five of the six numbers, that tells us that I have six numbers that I want to match five of them times, now we have to think about what else is happening. That other number has to be from the other 43 numbers, but aren't the same as the six that were already selected in the denominator. Okay, so the sum of the top has to add up to 43 since we have a total of 43 numbers. So if I take 43 minus 6, I get 37 things taken one at a time. So any of those other 37 numbers that were not selected in the denominator could be our value that we are getting here. Okay. In the denominator, what we have is we have 43 total numbers that we are taking six at a time. Okay, I am going to do this individually just because I have seen on some homework platforms that they require you to leave it as a fraction rather than putting it as a decimal. So I'm going to use a free online graphing calculator called Desmos, and I'm just going to pull up their scientific calculator. Okay, um, to find the combinations, if you hit the functions button, you'll see NPR and NCR. The NCR is our combination, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I would just put in my values. So the first one that we had was six things taken five at a time. And we can see that there's just six. So there's six different ways that I could take five at a time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write that number in here. So I found this part first. So that would give me six. Okay, now we need to find 37 things taken one at a time. And we can see that that's 37. Okay, and if I simplify this, it does give me 222. Okay, so 6 times 37 is 222. Now we want to find the number of combinations of 43 things taken six at a time. So we can see that there's 6,096,454. Okay, so that would be our final fraction. And you can leave it like this most of the time um, as a fraction. We can see that only 220 times 222 times out of 6,096,454 times will these match. Okay, I can reduce this fraction. So if I reduce this fraction, it becomes 111 over 3,048,227. Or I could put this to a decimal when I do this. Some calculators may give you an E. Um, this calculator, if I plug it in, let me just go back here, we'll see what it does. If I take and plug in the 222 divided by 6096454, 
Notice that it gives it to me in scientific notation. So some calculators will give it to you in scientific notation this way. You may also have a calculator, like if you're using a Texas Instruments calculator, I know that a lot of times instead of the E, they would write it as 3.6, sorry, I forgot the rest of it, um, 3.6414, E negative five. So this means scientific notation too. So your calculator may give it to you like that, or it may give it to you as 3.6414 times 10 to the negative fifth, or I have seen some calculators that actually give it to you as 0 0.00036, which is what this means down here, the scientific notation means. Okay, so if you wanted to express it as a decimal, you could do that as well. And then if you wanted to express it as a percent, that means that it's 0 0.00, 36% of the time. So this occurs way less than 1% of the time. It's almost 0% of the time, which is why it's so unlikely to be able to match five of the six numbers. Okay, so just remember that if you are confronted with a problem like this, no matter how many um, you are trying to match, you would set it up the same way. So you could have these values could change. Um, you could find the probability of matching four of the six numbers and then instead of doing 6c5 we would do 6c4 and then here because of the fact that we had um, six of them we would have 37 taken two at a time because we wouldn't want two to match etc as always thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know if there are additional topics you need me to cover please let me know that as well